Today we're making this envelope with a beautiful doily and lots of ephemera. We are back with Where Wendy Creates and I thought we would do a quick tutorial how to decorate an envelope for our junk journals. So let's see how we get into this box and then we are going to uh, create a couple of absolutely beautiful envelopes using these doilies. And you can get these doilies at the uh, Dollar Tree, you can get them at the craft stores, you can also get them in most grocery stores. So they usually come with a 20 count. They do stick together. So you want to uh, try and work with your fingers to get them apart. Look, that's two right there, how they stick together. So let's go ahead and pull out a couple of cards. Now these are just plain, they're not the, the shapely ones. So we might want to put one on this so the envelope is still fully functional. And then we can turn it around to the front. We can accordion style this into a fan or create it um, however you like. Fold it all the way. Let's fold this one all the way over all of the sides. So let's go ahead and play with some a glue stick here, and we're gonna put glue stick all over the front of the envelope. We're not gonna write on this. We're just gonna put some glue. We're going to open up the envelope, use some glue stick up here as well, and then we're going to put this beautiful doily on this envelope near the center, and we're putting it on And we're going to wrap it gently around the sides. So we're gonna put that glue directly onto our doily. Directly onto our doily. And we're simply going to fold this beautiful doily up onto our envelope. And see, it does not come anywhere near where it disrupts the envelope. We're going to have this beautiful envelope for our junk journal. We're going to set it aside, let it dry. Once it dries, we're going to go ahead and put a lot more decoration on it. And the decoration we're going to put on it can be different cutouts. Like, let's take this uh, 12 by 12 sheet of uh, lightweight cardstock. I've got three of them here in uh, different decor and we can simply use these to decorate our beautiful envelope. So let's take the first here and we're going to trim out a beautiful little card. Like such. We can put that down. We can use ribbon and lace. Whatever you have is a fair game for putting on our junk journal envelope. And we're gonna stick this in one of our pages and we can use um, different uh, stickers from your sticker collection, whatever you feel like. So we're going to do a big old live for today. What we're going to do is put that one right over here on this cardstock and then trim it out and put it over onto our envelope and our doily. So it's nice to use multi textures, multi designs. You can take this paper, you can cut it, you can color around the edges, or you can glue it down and add other ephemera around it as well. And always decorate both sides, leaving um, room for uh, doing some additional journaling. Look at that corner. 
I love that corner. We're going to put that corner right underneath here, right there. And then maybe a little ribbon and lace on top. And let's take this other corner. You can measure these if you like to get them uh, closer to being exact. And we're going to do the other corner here. So again, art is what you make of it. Get out your stuff, play, have fun, enjoy, and decorate. We need a lot more here, probably some flowers, some frou-frou, some lace. Uh, we have washi tape. We can use tape in uh, different colors and different ways. Let's see how this one looks across the top here. Just adding a little more bling. We could have even made this multi-layers and just seal it at the top so you could have additional journaling spaces. So lots of different ways to do that. Let's see if we have some flowers and hearts in here. Look at these. Let's go ahead and add some flowers and hearts. Meld it all into one. Stickers are a wonderful addition to our junk journaling ephemera pieces. The heart, the flower really draws it in together. If you cover up the sides, the corner, really make it into one piece. And I think that is the beginning of something absolutely gorgeous. Peace, love. Let's trim that off. Find your inner peace. Again, lots of different ideas, lots of different textures. We can even take cardstock and just tear pieces of cardstock, give them that additional white side on their edges, and glue them down as well anywhere that you feel um, might add a little bit of bling to it. So just get your cardstock out. Have fun, rip and tear, and add some in. Let's put a piece of this on it since it's on the front. Huh. Find your inner peace. Let's see if that's stuck too hard. Yep, that's stuck too hard. Okay, so let's go ahead and tear that. That's easily solved. And the washi tape is always repositionable so that you can always work with and rework with. I think we're going to do it just like so. And then to incorporate everything, we want to add some more on top of this area here. I'm thinking a button. Why not go dimensional, you know? Anything is possible. Um, have you ever been to a balloon fest? I, I look at this sticker, I just, I have been to a balloon fest and I will tell you it's one of the most exciting things, absolutely exhilarating to see all of the balloons going up at uh, at the same time, it's just absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing, amazing, amazing. Just trying to decide what else we want, what I'm feeling to go over there. Find your wild smile, love, love. Just some simple words. I love words. Just a simple word sticker does so much. 
Okay, so again, this is a beginning, but it lets you know some of the things that are available. Now we can put this in our junk journal, might inspire uh, a couple of ideas, some journaling ideas, keep your secrets inside. There's so much more that we could do for this. I hope you've enjoyed today's short tutorial and that you will make an envelope yourself using doilies. Have a great day, my friends.